I start my day with making my bed and then I choose an outfit that will match the activities that I'll be doing today. I'm going to go to some pretty artsy classes, so I chose a pretty artsy outfit. I brush my teeth and then I shower and then I get ready and put a bandana on since my hair is a little bit crazy today. I slept in today so it's about lunchtime right now and when I go downstairs I heat up some leftovers from the night before. When I eat, sometimes I like to watch a show, and I'm currently watching Love is Blind season 2. This show is so wild. I don't usually watch reality TV. But the social experiment aspect of the show really drew me in. It's honestly very hypnotizing, and I never knew what the hype for reality TV was until now. After a while, I realize I'm going to be late to class, so I get ready to leave. It's so cold today, so I put on my coat and my scarf. I don't know why it's so cold. It's just those fall days of spring. In my English class, we wrote a story, and then we had to choose our favorite sentence from it, and then we took it to the letterpress workshop on my campus. All of the letters that we were using are upside down and backwards, so it takes a long time to create words and write out a full sentence. It took me about a week to get to this one sentence, and it amazes me that this is what the newspapers would do in the past, and how fast people could just write full paragraphs and articles within a day. Since these pieces of equipment aren't manufactured anymore, we have to be extra careful when using them. Although I'm part of Gen Z and I do love this generation, I'm just not that big on tech. And now I don't subscribe to the belief that social media is evil and that phones are the biggest issue in our society today. I do enjoy my tech, especially because I have no idea how else I can turn in my assignments last minute. But when I'm in the letterpress workshop, it's like I'm transported to the past momentarily. It's quite fucking weird because I'm obviously not, like my smartphone is in my pocket and the windows show the modern world outside, but it's like instead of being on the outside looking in, you're on the inside looking out, you just feel like you're in a bubble trapped in some weird part of the universe where space and time just mesh together in a cohesive way. Later in the day, I went to my creative photography class. We have access to the door so we can go in our own time to finish up projects. But today I'm going to go to the lab to print out a photo I've taken just for fun. We use a light box and a magnifying glass to take a better look of the negatives. It's important to find one that has an even contrast like this one. However, we also produce contact sheets to give us a better idea of how they look like once they are printed. In the end, I decided to go with this photo I took of my friends. I load up the film strip into the negative carrier by placing it over the light box. Once I'm done trying to make sure that the image matches perfectly in the square, I take it into the dark room. It's a bit hard to see in there, but I did my best to line up the shots. When I get back home, I get undressed and brush my teeth. I finished watching the Love is Blind episode that I'm on, and I can't believe this boy said that on national TV. The embarrassment. I want to fuck you emotionally before I actually fuck you. Before I find out you're good in bed, I want to find out you're good in head. Um, and then afterwards, I just read. I've been really getting into the topic of personal finance lately. I want to learn about it so that I can make the right financial choices now. And that pretty much concludes the rest of my day. Thank you so much for watching.